Hello friends at home. In this video, I'm going to be going over this ABC order page with you. I'm here with your friends in the classroom. And before we get started on this paper, I want to talk to you a little bit about ABC order, what it is and what it means. Okay, we've worked a little bit with ABC order this year. Um, but we're really going to dive in and work with it some more today on this paper. So all of you, probably since you were in preschool, you have been singing or saying your ABCs. And if I were to ask you to sing the alphabet song, you could probably sing for me A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Because that's something that we start teaching you from the time you're born. Now. Putting things in ABC order means I take a group of words, whether it's names or places or just simply nouns, and I put them in order, starting with all the words that begin with A, then all the words that begin with B, then all the words that begin with C. So I'm putting the words in groups, okay? I'm classifying, that's a science term, isn't it? I'm classifying my words into groups using the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, V, D, X, Y, Z, as my order, okay? So today you're going to practice that with these six words. So I'm going to now um, start working on this page and walk you through A, B, C order so that you can do a really awesome job on this paper, okay? So if you're sitting at home, this paper should be in your folder. And if you're here in the classroom, I'll pass them out shortly. The first thing I do is always the same. I take out my pencil and write down my name. You don't ever want to forget your name on your paper. I will not know whose paper it is if you don't put your name on it. So once you have your name, you will take your scissors. And do you see this dotted line right here across kind of the closer to the bottom middle of the page? You're going to start out by just cutting straight across. Just cut that piece right off of there. So now you have this nice little square paper. And then we have our words that we're going to be putting in ABC order. And Victoria, the next thing I always teach you is to do what? What's the next thing I always teach you when we're cutting out words or pictures? Mateo? It cut around the outside track, right, and keep them together as one piece. That way you get rid of all the extra scraps that you don't need, but you're not losing all your words by dropping them all over the floor. So we always cut out that, like, rectangle with the words that we need, and then our scraps here can go either in the recycling bin or the trash, but we certainly don't throw them on the floor, okay? All right, so now I have my paper here. And I have my words. And I'm going to move the words whoop, up to the top just so that I can make sure everybody can see them well. Okay? Can you all see those words? Yeah. Okay. So now what we are going to do is go through our A, B, C's. And they put the alphabet chart up here on the top of the page for you. It can also be found on your name tag in the classroom. It can be found up on the wall above the smart board. Okay? But friends at home, if you need it, it's right there at the top of the page. Okay? So what is the first letter that I see in our alphabet, Faith? A. A. So first thing I'm going to do is look for any words that begin with the letter A. Faith, do you see any words up here that begin with the letter A? Apple. Apple. Excellent. So I'm going to take my scissors now. And I'm going to cut out the word apple. Remember, I keep my scissors nice and still. And I use my other hand to guide the paper. That helps me to have nice, straight, clean lines. So now I will put the rest of my words here. And I have this word apple. Whoops. And I'm going to glue apple in the first spot. Because A comes first. A for apple. Okay, now I don't see any other words that begin with A. So now I'm going to go on to my next letter in my alphabet. What is the next letter in the alphabet, Lillian? B. B. And looking at my words, do you see any words that start with a B? Books. Books. 
Excellent. So again, I will take my scissors. I'm going to carefully cut the word books. Now when I cut the word books, that other word there is going to fall off. Make sure it doesn't fall on the floor. Make sure you keep it in a nice pile so that we don't lose our words, okay? So I have all of my A words, all of my B words, and I don't see any other B words. What's the next letter in my alphabet, Serafina? C. C. Now, boys and girls, does anybody see a word that begins with C? Isaac? Huh. I don't see one, do you? So guess what we're going to do? We're going to move on to the next letter, which is D. D. Does anybody see a word here that starts with D? No. No. So let's move on to the next letter, which is E. e. Does anybody see a word that starts with E? No. Nope. Let's go to the next one. What is it, everybody? F. F. Do you see a word that starts with F? No. Nope. What about G? Does anybody see a word that begins with G? No. Hmm, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Does anybody see a word that begins with H? Oh, I see lots of hands. What word do you see, Connor? Happy. So now I will cut out the word happy. And again, be careful with your other words that they don't fall on the floor. You don't want to lose them. So did it matter, boys and girls, that I didn't have some letters? Did that matter? No, I just skipped them, right? So there were no C, D, E, F, or G words. So we moved on to H. Then you'll go on to I, J, K, L, M, N, and you'll do the rest of the alphabet. If you get to a letter that doesn't have any words, move on to the next letter. And then once you have all your words glued in A, B, C order, down here at the bottom, it says write a sentence using one or more of your words. So using these words that you put in ABC order, write a sentence for me. Okay? Now last week, friends, we talked about the parts of a sentence in reading. Now who remembers, and I'll bring my, my whiteboard back up here, who remembers what was one of the things that I must have in order for it to be a complete sentence? Serafina. Period. It has to have an end mark, right? Okay, so we have to have some kind of end mark at the end of our sentence. It can be either a period or an exclamation point or a question mark. But if you don't have an end mark, it's not a sentence. So make sure you have an end mark. Lillian, what else must I have for it to be a complete sentence? Um, uh, uh, <laughs> it has to begin with an uppercase or a capital letter. Okay? Uppercase letter. So my uppercase letters are my big letters, right? We don't want to have the lowercase letters at the beginning of a sentence. You must have uppercase. So we have to start with an uppercase. We have to have an end mark at the end. What else must it have to be a complete sentence? Connor? Yes, we have to use our lowercase letters. You are correct. So we do have to have lowercase letters on all of the words unless it's a proper noun or the first letter. What did I tell you about your finger that you have to have? You got to use your finger for it. Ava June? Finger space between your words. And I call it a finger space because if you put your finger down, it creates the right amount of space between the words. So you have to make sure that you're putting that finger space. That's kind of a silly looking hand <laughs> between your words. Okay, so we have to have uppercase letter at the beginning, end mark at the end, finger spaces between the words, and then what's really, really important. It has to do what? Sage? Help her out, Serafina. It has to make sense. Make sense. 
If it doesn't make sense, it's not a sentence. You could have the most beautifully written series of words with an uppercase letter at the beginning, with finger spaces in between the words, with an N mark at the end. But if it doesn't make sense, it's not a sentence. So make sure when you are writing your sentence at the bottom of this page, make sure you start with an uppercase letter. Make sure you have finger spaces between your words. Make sure you end with a period or an exclamation point, and make sure it makes sense. Okay, boys and girls? When you are finished, there is a lovely picture here that I would love if you would color, and I can't wait to see all your hard work on these. Goodbye, friends at home. Bye.